Remember when Bolt Boy lifted up the car with his super strength to protect his friends from that meteor shower? Yeah, that was so cool. And then he used his super speed to rescue that space monkey. That was so totally awesome. Hey, maybe there's some place where we can go to get superpowers. You mean we can have superpowers just like Bolt Boy? Yeah, I bet we could. And that sounds like we have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to go someplace where we can have superpowers for the day. That sounds like a great mission. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops? Nobody knows. The Windy Planet? Well, that's a great place to find wind power, but not superpowers. The Toolbox Planet. It has power tools, yes. Superpowers? No. The Superpower Planet? That's super perfect! Yes, the Superpower Planet. A wonderful choice. Now get ready for Countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Stop the superpower planet. Woohoo! Superpowers, here I come. Are we in the right place? Hmm. This is the superpower planet, right? It doesn't look very super. What's with the phone booth? Maybe we're supposed to call someone to find out where the real superhero planet is. <laughs> Rob! Ah! Whoa, it's a telephone teleporter. Just like Bull Boy uses. Oh, right. Well, what are we waiting for? Like me. Yeah, so 
super fly in the sky power. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I guess not. Then you must have super duper strong power. Like me. Yeah, super, super strong power. <sighs> I don't have it. <sighs> I don't get it. I don't have any of the powers that you guys have. I'm confused, mystified even. <gasps> Maybe I don't have any superpower at all. But how can that be? We all got superpowers as soon as we went through the telephone booth. Maybe it's some sort of planetary malfunction. You know, things went awry, a mess, a field, a stray. Orbit, what are you saying? I'm saying there's a 65.4% chance that the atmospheric conditions here, combined with my molecular structure, resulted in the non-existence of extraordinary powers. Huh? Oh no, I know what happened. Big words, scientific theories. I got... <gasps> Super smarty pants power. No! I mean, yes, that's correct. Accurate, right even. Oh. Superpowers rule! <sighs> sure, except I got stuck with a boring, tiresome, irksome power. Come on, Orbit, cheer up! Ah! Oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but look at all the fun, smart stuff you can do! I suppose, but it's not as entertaining as flying, or spinning, or elevating massive boulders with one hand. Well, we could do something else for a while. Um... You could teach us some math equations. Good idea. Uh, that'll be uh, just as much fun as using our superpowers. Whoa! Coming through! <laughs> Don't worry. I'm okay. But it appears the computer is not. Superhero security alarm activated. Ah! Uh-oh. TK's unfortunate collision with the computer has caused it to malfunction, thereby trapping us. Trapped? Ha! We can't be trapped. We're superheroes, remember? <laughs> right. I'll just use my super fly in the sky power. Ouchie, oh, that didn't work. Not a problem. With my super twisty twirly power, getting out of here should be a breeze. Oh, sorry. Oh, I guess I can't spin through walls. They're too strong. This sounds like a job for Super Rob. Those walls aren't stronger than I am. <sighs> Why won't you open? Oh, getting out of here is going to be harder than we thought. None of our powers are helping. What are we going to do? Mm. Uh, Orbit, what are you doing? This appears to be a memory puzzle. I just need to match the icon, or picture, with its corresponding icon. Observe. Oh, it's like a matching game. Smart thinking, Orbit. Thanks, but I'll need to quicken my maneuvers. Notice the timer. There's not much time left. Uh, oh no, that wasn't a match. No, but it'll allow me to do this. A match! Way to go, Orbit! A mask. So therefore, this icon should be a lightning bolt. Now my solution should authorize the walls to retract or receive. Superhero security alarm deactivated. Yay! You did it! You're a hero, Orbit, just like Bolt Boy. You saved the day! Yes! Very astute of you, Rob. You're right. I did save the day. I came to the rescue with my super smarty pants power. I guess brain power turned out to be the best power of all. And that means this is one super smart mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? 
<laughs> well, we went to the superpower planet where we all got superpowers for the day. Orbit got super smarty pants power, only he didn't think that was very super. But when we got trapped, it was Orbit smarty pants power that saved the day. He showed us that super smarts are super cool. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, superpower planet. Here you go. I cooked the crunch out of these crater carrots. Thanks, Orbit. Okay, who's doing the Saturn salad? All done, Rob. Chop and toss. Good. Let's see. The lunar lasagna is cooked. Ooh, what else is there? Comet, Comet cake, cake for dessert. dessert! Uh-oh, I knew I forgot something. Huh. What? We can't have help giving dinner with a comet cake for dessert. That's what the holiday is all about. I always thought help giving was about helping one another. Uh, well, it's about that too, but it's mostly about having comet cake for dessert. It is something we always have after our holiday dinner. Emma's right. It's a tradition. We have to find a comet cake somewhere. Hmm. Wait, that sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find a comet cake for our help-giving dinner. I think I can help you with that. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. The fruit planet? Fruit is yummy. But not the dessert we're looking for. Ooh, the book planet. Yeah. That would be a good place to go if we wanted to read about comet cakes. But we want to eat one. Oh, now that looks like a good place. <laughs> Excellent choice. The Comet Cake Planet. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Celebrating Hope Giving Day by helping ourselves. It's as hard as a coconut. What's with that? Comet cakes are supposed to be soft and cakey. Hmm. Maybe this one's not ready to be picked yet. Hmm. Rob's right. It's purple, not pink. When comet cakes are ready to eat, they're pinker than me. Huh? That one looks like it's ready to be picked. Ooh. Gee, this one looks like it should have been picked a long time ago. 
Hmm. It's turned into a comet mush. Ew. Ew. It looks like all the good ones have been picked already. <laughs> there must be one good comet cake left for our holiday dessert. <gasps> and there it is. Yeah. Whoa. That's the one. Yes. <laughs> huh? Huh? I don't believe that greedy gears. He just took our comet cake. Well, he's not getting away with it. <laughs> Yes, he is. Let us say goodbye to our holiday dessert. Looks like it's mission not accomplished. Which way back? I think the ship is that way. Spaceship is that? Oh, but it belongs to that greedy Gears cake snatcher. Okay, Rob, what's the plan? We'll ask him nicely if he'll share some comet cake with us. Don't you mean our comet cake? Whoa, he had a crash landing. Getting hit by a meteorite is bad enough, but to have it happen on Help Giving Day? That's the worst. He'll never be able to fix it without the right tools. He's got supper all laid out. Only there's nothing to eat. Maybe that's why he wanted the comet cake so badly. Hey, how come there's two bowls? Huh? <laughs> hey there, little fella. I'd say the little guy's hungry. Now what do we do? Well, it is help giving day, so let's give him a little help. Think you can fix the ship, TK? I'm on it, Rob. Give me a hand with the food from our rocket, Emma. Dinner's about to be served. What about me? I want to help, too. Hmm. Mm hmm. Not the baby. I don't know anything about babies. <laughs> You'll figure it out. ship so you and your son can head for home right after we eat. So, should I get the cake now? Huh? You want us to have the dessert? to celebrate Help Giving Day, wouldn't you? Mmm, -hmm, the best! 
almost as good as this comet cake. <laughs> well, I'd say that's a really big mission accomplished. Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? to the Comet Cake Planet to get one for our help-giving dinner dessert. But every Comet Cake was too hard or too mushy, except one. But another robot took it. We thought he was being greedy. But then we found out he and his son were just hungry. Since help-giving day is to celebrate helping others, we helped them by fixing their broken spaceship so they could go home. And we learned how much others appreciate it when you take the time to help them. That's a good thing to remember, even when it's not help giving day. Now, time to go. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! In time. We're going to play show and share, and Orbit's up first. Today, the thing I want to show and share is my space top. When you spin it really fast, <laughs> it balances on its tiny tip. Yeah, we know, Orbit. <laughs> That's because you always show your space top for show and share. Maybe you have something new to show and share with us? Uh, nope. Nothing new. How about you, TK? Or Rob? Or Emma? Hmm. It looks like we all have the same things we usually show and share. No one has anything new. Then I think this means we all have something new. A new mission. <laughs> to find something new for each of us to show and share. And you know what that means. <laughs> Time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to find new things for show and share. Okay, then. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. <laughs> How about Tree Planet? But we learned all about trees the last time we visited. We need to branch out and find new things to show and share. Stinky Foot Planet? I don't think we want to go there. You're right, TK. We don't want to play show and smell. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I bet we'd find all kinds of interesting things there. Discovery Planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Show and share. Hooray! Let's go! Come on! <laughs> hey, wait for me! Bouncing bolts! This place has all kinds of 
cosmically cool things. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Mm. I've never seen a rock like that before. <laughs> <sighs> okay, Rob. We're ready. We all found something really cool for show and share. So did I. <laughs> <laughs> but it's just a rock. Ooh. Yeah, but it has stripes and a hole right through the middle. Neat, huh? Does it do anything? I don't think so. It's just a rock. That's what I said. There are tons more interesting things around here than a rock. Yeah, like what I found. Come on! Show and share. What is it? It's a radio, I think. It plays music. Let me show you. Whoa! That doesn't play music. It makes noise. Loud noise. Can we shut it off? Please! <laughs> Show and Share was a radio, but it's actually a noisemaker. A very loud noisemaker. That was a great Show and Share, TK. But wait till I show you mine. My Show and Share is a pogo stick. To use it, you just get on and hop, hop, hop around. I'll show you. <laughs> That's not hopping, Emma. That's spinning. It's making me dizzy. Yeah, but it looks like fun. a whirly stick than a pogo stick because it spins you round and round. Thanks for showing and sharing the whirly stick, Emma. It was fun. Okay, now it's my turn. Come on! <coughs> my show and share is this cool mini flying saucer. Cool. Awesome! And I think this bug makes it really fly. <laughs> Heard of a rolling saucer? Me neither. But I think it wants us to chase it. Come on! Just a rock either. 
I bet Rod's right. Let's go see. Well, it sure feels like a rock. And it's hard like a rock. Ooh. It smells like a rock, too. Yuck. Here, Emma. Catch. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't sound like a rock. Amazing! Cosmically cool! Looks like we all found a special new something to show and share. That's right, Emma, which means mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we came to Discovery Planet to find new things for show and share. But we discovered that nothing we found was what we thought it was. TK's radio didn't play music like she thought. It made loud noises. And Emma's pogo stick was really a whirling stick. An orbit's flying saucer was really a rolling saucer. Finally, we discovered that the rock I found wasn't just a rock. It also made awesome sounding space music. So we learned that things aren't always what they seem to be. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three. <laughs> Sorry, it's my tummy growling. Sounds to me like your tummy is telling us it's lunchtime. Lunchtime? But I thought we were going to the beach. Hmm, that's right. Hey, why don't we do both? We can have a picnic lunch at the beach. Good idea. Great idea. Bad idea. Huh? How come? Ants. Ants? Every time I've been on a picnic, Ants show up and crawl over everything. Ick! One time, ants even crawled into my treads, and I was jumping and dancing for a week. Well, have you ever had a picnic on a beach? Hmm, no, but I bet there are ants there, too. But you don't know that for sure, Orbit. Why don't we give it a try? Let's have a picnic on a beach. Yeah! That sounds like we've got a mission. And you know what that means? It's time for us to pick a planet. Pick a planet! 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We want to have a picnic. On a beach. That sounds like fun. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Look, the baseball planet. That's a fun place to go. But not if you want to build a sandcastle. Mm. The clock planet would be a good place to find out what time it is. <laughs> but not to have a picnic. Now that looks like the place to go. Yeah! Yes, the beach planet. Excellent choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
But those coconuts are up pretty high. And you're not exactly built for climbing trees. I'm not gonna climb the tree. Huh? Then how will you get the coconut? I'm gonna use my head. Well, while you're outsmarting coconuts, Emma and I will find the best spot to set up the picnic. <laughs> Any spot is a good spot. As long as there are no ants. Yeah. TK works fast. She's building up a big appetite. Uh. Okay, coconuts, come down. Uh. Uh. Picking a coconut is harder than I thought. Uh huh. Okay, coconuts, if you don't want to come down, I'll knock you down. Ha! Huh? That wasn't supposed to happen. I'll go tell our fearless coconut hunter that lunch is almost ready. <laughs> and I'm gonna pick some of these yummy oranges. Okay. What are you making now, TK? A moat. It's a trench you fill with water, so the only way into the castle is over the drawbridge. Oh! Rockin' robots! That's awesome! <laughs> Okay, this time, you're coming down. Getting a coconut orbit? What do you mean? I already have one. See? Mm. No. Where? Right the. Huh? <laughs> but it was there a second ago. It was right. Ants! Ants took my coconut! Sick! There are no ants here, Orbit. Uh, besides, ants are too small to carry a coconut. But ants are strong. And maybe these were really big ants. Then you would have seen them. So then what happened to it? My coconut didn't just walk off by itself. Mm, I don't know, Orbit. It's a mystery. A mystery I'm going to help you find the answer to. I didn't really want a coconut anyways. Hmm. couple of those oranges for my sand castle? Sure. Thanks, Emma. We can eat these later. What? Where did they go? Huh? <gasps> what is going on? I'm gonna name it Castle Orange. Huh? Where did I put that orange? Huh? Did I just see what I thought I saw? Huh? Huh? You're not going to believe this, but I picked some oranges and bananas, put them down, then they just disappeared. Huh? Ants. I knew it was ants. Sneaky ninja ants. First they took my coconut, now I'm as oranges. You're not going to believe this? But I got some oranges from Emma, put them down, then they just disappeared? disappeared? No, they floated huh? off all by themselves. Invisible ants. I don't think it was ants. I think it was a ghost. <gasps> My sandcastle is haunted. <gasps> I don't know what to
robot took your coconut or your fruit. But I'm sure it was an invisible ant or a ghost. Then what was it? There's one way to find out. We have to catch it. But we need something to catch it with. We can use my castle. Mm hmm. We'll need something to lure the ants, or whatever it is, hmm. inside TK's castle. And I don't have any more coconuts. I'm all out of fruit. Ooh, maybe I can help. I was saving this for us to share for dessert. Yum! Ooh. A space lizard! Maybe it took the fruit. It's big enough and fast enough. But not invisible enough. That's why no one saw it. That space lizard can change its color to blend in with the background. It's called camouflage. Camouflage or not, he's got the bait. Now, TK, before he gets away. Got him. Good plan, Rob. It was teamwork. to share a beach party picnic with a new friend. <laughs> I'd say it was a perfect picnic. And that's mission accomplished. <laughs> mission control? Hi, Rob, you're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? have a picnic. But the food we gathered mysteriously disappeared. Orbit thought ants took it, and TK thought it was a ghost. But ants are too small, and there are no such things as ghosts. It turned out to be a space lizard that could camouflage itself by changing colors. So we learned that we shouldn't jump to conclusions, and that we should gather the facts instead. Done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, space lizard. Goodbye, beach planet. Good morning. You're just in time for breakfast. <laughs> Was that your tummy, Emma? <laughs> yeah. I'm always hungry after my morning exercises. What'll it be? Toast and jam, oatmeal, or my famous scrambled space eggs? Ooh, scrambled space eggs, please. Hmm. Uh, I hate to break this to everyone, but I was just in the kitchen. We're out of eggs. No eggs? Really? Ooh, maybe we can get some more. I like that idea. So does my tummy. Well, that sounds like a mission, and you know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We need to get some eggs so we can make breakfast. Rob's famous scrambled space eggs breakfast. That sounds like an excellent mission. Let's see where you can go. Hey, it's the math planet. I like to count, but it doesn't add up to a solution to our problem. We won't find any eggs there. The camping planet. Not really the place to find eggs, either. <sighs> the farm planet. I bet we can find eggs there. Farm fresh eggs. Yes, the farm planet. An egg-tastic choice. Get ready for countdown.
Next stop, the Bomb Planet. So where there are chickens, there are sure to be eggs. Hey ho! Uh -huh. I'm Farmer Fred, and who might you be? Hi, I'm Rob, and these are my friends, TK, Orbit, and Emma. Hey there. Hello. Hi. Mighty nice to meet y'all. What brings you to my farm planet? We're on a mission to find farm fresh eggs. Well, you've come to the right place. Only I haven't had time to do the morning egg collecting yet. Mm. I've been so busy fixing this old tractor, I haven't had a chance to do my other chores. You see, if you folks help me by collecting the eggs, I'll give you as many as you need. How does that sound? Yeah! yeah! That sounds like a great deal, Farmer Fred. You've all done farm work before, right? No, but it's okay. I bet we'll be done before you know it. Won't we, guys? Right, yeah! yeah! I should warn you, sometimes a simple sounding job can be tough if you haven't done it before. So, if you need help... We can do it! Okay, then. The eggs are in that chicken coop. Let's get cracking! <laughs> <laughs> Something tells me they'll be back. Look out, eggs. Here come the great egg collector. <gasps> oh, no. The chickens escaped. I better go get help from Farmer Fred. But we let them escape, so we should get them back again. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's go round up those chickens. chickens. We need to fix the fence. The bone knocked over. Hup. You and TK go after the chickens and Orbit and I will get this fence fixed. Hmm. You know, huh? I might be better at fence fixing than chicken catching. Let's see if I've got something in my tummy trunk that can help. Um, TK, don't move. I don't think he likes the color red, TK. And you're red all over. Uh-oh. Ah! No, come back. Come back. <gasps> she didn't really mean it. Oh. Pink either. <laughs> this egg collecting thing is dangerous. Yeah, now we have to collect the eggs, catch the chickens, fix the fence, and stop that crazy cow. It's a bull orbit. Hey. What happened to Rob?
definitely. Help! Oh, there. Calm down now. Calm down. Wow. Thanks. How did you do that? Oh, this old bull can be a bit grumpy. You just need to know how to talk to him. Looks like you could use a little help. Maybe more than a little. Yeah. Turns out farm work is harder than we thought. Well, there's nothing wrong with accepting a little help when you need it. Like, I sure could use some help fixing that old tractor. <gasps> TK at your service. All the eggs, Farmer Fred. <laughs> my pleasure. I couldn't have fixed my tractor without asking you for help. I'm much obliged. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Mission control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? Farmer Fred. While he was busy working on his tractor, he agreed to let us collect some eggs. Only the chickens got loose, and then we broke a fence. And then we got chased by a robo bull. But we also learned that it's okay to ask for help and to accept it when someone offers it. Farmer Fred helped us, and we helped him. Well done. What an egg-sighting mission. As soon as we're back in space, you can cook up some of those farm fresh eggs. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Farmer Fred. Goodbye, Farm Planet. Emma has a problem. Stops, nobody knows. Hey, do you think you lost your boots on the pillow planet, Emma? Um, I don't think so. What about the sticky candy planet? I I can't remember. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Hmm? That looks like a good place to look for Emma's boots. Yes, the lost and found planet. Great choice. Get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts.
stop the lost and found plan. find his lost toy, I'm sure we can find Emma's moon boots. Oh, look! Hmm. Lost boots! That way! <laughs> Let's go! Huh? PK, look! It's my coloring book I lost years ago! It's yours. Because look how nicely the pictures are colored. And I signed it. But Orbit, Rob and Emma went. I sure wish I had a tummy trunk like you do to carry this stuff in. Hmm. Here, we can use this box, Orbit. You could pretend it's your tummy trunk. luck finding the lost boot section. Hey, where are they? Huh? Orbit! TK! I'll have a look. Can you see them, Rob? Nope. All I can see are boxes. And boxes. And more. Are you okay? Yes. Are you? Yes. But I think we're <gasps> stuck. <gasps> what are we going to do? <sighs> oh. Stayed back with Rob and Emma. Ooh, you're not gonna believe this! I found Emma's lost moon boots. Am I the best finder ever or what? <gasps> huh? You found a box with no bottom. So every time I put something in the top, it fell out. Sorry, Orbit. I didn't know. I... I also don't know where we are. Huh? How do we get back to Rob and Emma? <sighs> I have no idea. This is all my fault. I should have been paying attention to where we were going. Now we're lost on the lost and found planet. Just like the lost stuff I found and lost again. <sighs> Wait a minute. Your things fell out one by one, and left a trail. Yes! We can follow my things right back to where we started. Exactly! TK, I am a finding genius, and you are a genius for picking a box with no bottom. Thanks, Orbit, I think. It's no use yelling, Rob. They can't hear us through all these boxes. But there must be some way we can let them know we're in here. My whistle! Look, TK, the rocket! My trail led us right back to where we started! But where are Rob and Emma? Huh? Shh! Listen! Huh? Sounds like it's coming from... TK, is that you? Rob, what are you doing in 
there. Where's Emma? In here! Uh -huh. The boxes fell on us! <gasps> could find us a couple of lost bulldozers. Wait, maybe you can dig something out of your tummy trunk. That's it! Your tummy trunk? No, dig! Huh? Stand back, Orbit! I'm going into overdrive! Oh! TK, you're the best! to replace the broken one. Then what are we waiting for? Garage planet, here we come. That's our second problem. Huh? huh? What do you mean, second problem? The garage planet is too far away. The rocket will never make it all that way with only one good booster. Well, there must be some place we can find a second booster. Mm. Some place closer. There's no time to lose. We have a mission. And you know what that means. <laughs> it's time for us to pick a planet. 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 Mission Control? Hi, everyone. How can I help you today? We've got to find a rocket booster to replace our broken one. That sounds serious. Let's see where you can go. Round and round the planets go. Which one stops, nobody knows. Hmm, I bet there are all kinds of spare parts on the puzzle planet. But they're puzzle parts, not rocket parts. Mm -hmm. Hey, what about the farm planet? Hmm. 
I'm sure we'd find a red rooster, but we need a rocket booster. That looks like a place where we might find rocket parts. Yes, the junkyard planet. Excellent choice. Now get ready for countdown. Hurry, everyone. Get to your stations and buckle your seatbelts. Chips go. Ooh. Sorry, Rocket. I didn't mean you. Don't worry. Once we find you another booster, you'll be as good as new. Okay, gang. Let's spread out. to scare you. <laughs> Who did you think it was? The junkyard ghost? Ooh. <laughs> Cut it out, Orbit. <laughs> I'm gonna go look over there. Uh... Hmm. Huh? What was that? Orbit, I heard a noise. Or something. Relax. There's no one here but us. Uh, yes, you're right. I'm just being silly. <laughs> <laughs> nope, not rocket boosters. <gasps> Is someone there? We're the only huh? ones here. I. I thought I saw someone. Hmm. Huh? huh? Well, you must have imagined you saw someone. Hmm. <gasps> well, I'm not imagining. Those footprints! <gasps> I don't know, TK. They don't really look like footprints to me. Uh... Maybe that's what Junkyard Ghost footprints look like. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm sure something's out there. Well, I'm still hoping there's a used rocket booster out there. Somewhere. But we won't know until we find it. Let's go. Uh, you want to huh? stick with me, TK? No, it's okay, Rob. Thanks. Someone drew this flower. Hmm. Someone made this garden and twinned the flowers. <laughs> huh? I knew it. I knew there was someone here. Wait, she was just as afraid as I was. Hmm. Hello? Sorry, did I scare you? I didn't mean to. That's your garden, isn't it? I think you like flowers. Do you like the one I made? It's not as pretty as yours. But you can have it if you like. Huh? My name's TK. I'm glad you like it. Huh. 
I'm starting to think there isn't one rocket booster on this whole planet. I found one! Uh -huh. I think I found one! Over here! I need help! I almost got it! I might have been mistaken. There's no way across. How are we going to get over? We're trapped. But not TK. Hmm. But what can TK do? I don't know, Orbit, but at least she's on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> TK! <laughs> Look out! Run, TK, run! <gasps> There's a monster after you! Oh! <laughs> This is Blossom. I named her that because she really likes flowers. Uh -huh. See? I knew there was someone here. <laughs> hey! How did you get stuck way over there? <sighs> it's a long story. <sighs> What's important is how we're going to get back across. Maybe TK's new friend can help us. What about it, Blossom? Can you help my friends? Uh -huh. Did you find another booster to replace this broken one? <sighs> no. <clears throat> Blossom, where are you going? <laughs> yeah! Rocket boosters! <laughs> that does it. The rocket is all fixed. Then it's mission accomplished! Thanks to Blossom! <laughs> yeah! Mission Control? Hi, Rob. You're back. So, what did you learn on your mission? <laughs> well, we went to the junkyard planet try to find a new booster to fix the rocket. But while we were looking, TK found some strange footprints. But even though TK's new friend did look a little bit like a monster, she really wasn't. She was really nice. And she rescued us when we were stuck, helped us find the piece we were looking for to fix the rocket, and helped us learn that you can't tell what someone is like just by the way they look. Well done. I think it's time to go home. Better buckle up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yay! Goodbye, Blossom. Goodbye, Junkyard Planet.